Hi, this is Martine LaDuke at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem at Brooker Creek Preserve. This is Life Science at a Social Distance. I'm here with Cynthia Grizzle. She's a gopher tortoise agent, and we are going to learn about what she does as a gopher tortoise agent. So would you mind just explaining a little bit about what that is? Yeah, so because gopher tortoises are a protected species in Florida, you have to have a special certification to um, handle gopher tortoises or catch them. And that's one of, the, one of the really cool things that I get to do at my job. So if something is um, being built, like a new road is, is being built, um, the gopher tortoises have to be relocated. That's where I come in and I get to catch the tortoises and relocate them to an area that is protected. All right, so how do you do that? What is the process? So there's lots of different ways to catch gopher tortoises. Sometimes we get really lucky and one just happens to be walking, walking in the project area. So that's, that's an easy catch, but a lot of times it's not that easy. And we actually have to use a backhoe or, and our shovels to excavate the burrows to catch the tortoise at the, at the bottom. Um, if we are in an area where we can't excavate a burrow, um, then we can actually use bucket traps where we basically sink a bucket at the mouth of the burrow, cover it up with some nice, pretty wrapping paper. The tortoises don't care about how pretty it is because then we just cover it up with dirt and wait for them to come out of their burrow and fall right into that bucket trap. So um, that's, that's a really uh, low tech, easy way to catch gopher tortoises. Um, or if, again, if, if we can't um, catch a tortoise because it's up under a building or something like that. All right, well that was great. Uh, let's go ahead and try this gopher tortoise burrow here and see what you do. All right, so the first thing if we're gonna excavate a burrow is we're gonna get our handy dandy swizzle stick here and put it down the burrow to determine which direction it goes because sometimes you get a left-handed tortoise and the burrow veers to the right or you might get a right-handed tortoise and the burrow veers to the left. So we need to know that before we start digging. So. We just put this right down here. We can tell uh, about which direction it goes. So it looks like it goes a little bit to the right. Um, and it doesn't go in very far, so we know we're probably at a turn in the burrow. All right, you've seen what a gopher tortoise burrow looks like on the outside. Now we're going to look and see what it looks like inside. And here in our exhibit hall, we have a gopher tortoise burrow model. And this is kind of like a cross section of one. And so it just kind of looks into a burrow, what we don't see on the outside. And Cynthia is going to demonstrate how she is able to find out where the gopher tortoises are. And what we do is place it down into the burrow, just like this. So a lot of times you run into either a turn or like this, this time we're just kind of running into the bottom of the burrow. So what we do is the backhoe operator will slowly scrape down just a little bit at a time until we get close to the end of the uh, piece of PVC pipe. And then when we get close, I get to move it again further down so we're even closer to that gopher tortoise waiting for us at the end. If you want to experience what it's like to be a gopher tortoise you can come into the environmental ed center here at Burger Creek Preserve and we have a model of a gopher tortoise burrow that is five times the size of a normal burrow. So if you think five times bigger than what it would normally be then we can come explore. So come on. Hope you've had fun learning about gopher tortoises today. I'm Ginger. And I'm Cynthia. At Brooker Creek Preserve. See you next time.